Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today, we're looking at a paper trending on X, published on August 5th, 2025, so just about two days ago. This paper finds that a realized estimate of 40 million US dollars in profit was extracted from arbitrage opportunities, which are basically guaranteed wins on the polymarket prediction platform. The paper is titled, Unraveling the Probabilistic Forest, Arbitrage in Prediction Markets. And as we'll see, the scale of these opportunities is pretty eye-opening. The researchers developed a method using large language models to systematically find these pricing mistakes across thousands of markets. And as you might expect, a paper with findings like this is getting a lot of attention on X. One of the authors posted a great thread breaking it all down, highlighting that $40 million were extracted by traders exploiting these market flaws. The thread, which has pretty strong engagement, also notes that the top three arbitragers each made over $1 million. They go on to explain the different types of arbitrage they studied, from simple mispricings within a single market to more complex strategies spanning multiple dependent markets. All right, so to dig into that more complex strategy, the one that works across multiple markets, this figure gives a perfect example. The table on the left shows two separate but related prediction markets. Say one market is for who wins an election, and a second is for the winning margin. The diagram on the right then shows how these outcomes are logically linked. This setup is what allows for what's called combinatorial arbitrage, where you can place bets across both markets that guarantee a win if their prices get out of sync. Okay, so to find those related markets, the authors first had to map out the entire landscape of polymarket. These charts show what they found. The top graph plots the number of active markets each month, broken down by topic. You can see politics and sports are the biggest categories, with a massive spike in politics markets right around the U.S. election. The bottom chart shows a similar trend for the specific betting conditions within those markets. This was a key step for reducing their search space, letting them focus on related events. So with that map of the markets, this diagram shows their clever approach for finding the dependencies. They use a large language model for this. The top half of the diagram shows a validation step. They test the model on conditions within a single market, which they know are dependent, just to check its reasoning. The bottom half then shows the real detection work feeding the model conditions from different markets to see if it can spot the hidden logical links that create those arbitrage opportunities. Okay, so moving to the results, let's start with the most basic type of arbitrage, the kind that happens within a single market condition. The chart on the left shows the number of these opportunities they found, broken down by category. You can see most markets only have a few, but the chart on the right is what's really stunning. It shows the median profit per dollar. Across almost every category, the median profit is over 60 cents on the dollar, which points to some pretty major market inefficiency. And that inefficiency isn't just theoretical. People are definitely cashing in. This table details the top 10 arbitrageurs by total profit. The top account alone extracted over $2 million for more than 4,000 successful trades. The next two accounts also cleared over a $1 million each. This isn't just a few lucky trades. The high number of transactions for many of these top earners suggests that sophisticated, bot-like strategies are at play, constantly scanning for and exploiting these market flaws. So in conclusion, this research shows that significant, exploitable arbitrage exists on polymarket, with traders extracting millions in profit. It also presents a powerful new method using LLMs to automatically find these complex market flaws. That's it for this episode.